How's it going, YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mac here, coach of the Sacramento Saints. Slash, we're playing in the YCL Speed Tour here. Um, we are in the playoffs. Heck yeah, playing off against Sen. I'm pretty excited for this matchup. Um, really great dude, uh, and we get a chance to play him again, which is awesome. Uh, of course, you can see the team that we are bringing, as well as the team that he is bringing. Um, and actually, it looks like I got one wrong. There is no Hippopotas here. It looks like there's a Magmortar instead, which um, is pretty scary. That, that Pokemon hits hits really hard. So um, definitely something we got to be a little concerned about uh, around switching into. Okay, as for, as for how I want to play this game out, it looks like the rest of what he brought is pretty much what I was expecting. Um, I think our best bet... Hmm... What does he lead? I could see like a Drudigan lead. I could also see like a Tapu Koko lead potentially. I kind of like leading with... Yeah, I kind of like leading with DeVille. Might be our best bet. Maybe... Actually, let's go, let's go Kimchi as a lead. I think that's the way to go um i think this is probably our best lead if he leads like dread again um and i think i'm okay with leading this into like tapu coco and it's, yeah, it's probably got like a pretty solid matchup against most of what he's got going on anyway good luck have fun over to send really cool dude really excited to battle him um should be a really uh, fun game okay and let's see what is what does he start with did we get it right <laughs> that's that's the question. Did we get it right? Tapu Coco. Okay. Um gosh. I don't really want to get hit by um a U-turn here. That does not sound exciting to me, like not even a little bit. Okay, what's the worst that happens if I just go straight straight into Magnezone? How bad is it if I just go into Magnezone here? Or what does he swap into? Because I don't think he stays in. What does he swap into? I mean, Earth Power seems like it'd be pretty solid against anything he's got going on. I don't think I'd die from this. So let's go in, let's go in Earth Power. If he stays in, then we get a massive chunk of damage off on this, which would be very nice. There's also a debate of going Magnezone here, but... Um, yeah, like I figured, figured this was happening, but oh my gosh, what the heck is that? That is way too much damage. Well, <laughs> that's super bad. <laughs> like, we're four times weak to that, but um, I did not think we were going to take that much damage. Alright, maybe it would have been better to go Magnezone. Let's see what he brings in. Um... What is this? Oh, I am so I'm so okay with this. This this Pokemon is scary. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, let's do it. Two AKO. I'm okay with this. I'll 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 take another um another Earth Power on this thing. Uh, I don't think there's any world in which you're faster than I am, so we're gonna Earth Power again. I mean, unless you're Scarf, right? If you're Scarf, then you're Scarf. You know, like what what are we gonna do? But I'm okay. I'm okay with getting uh, a KO on this. That would be massive. Okay, what do you go into now? Do you go? Who's Bruto? Okay, cool. All right, we're we're doing okay now. <laughs> we're doing we're doing okay. Beautiful. Okay, we get some damage off on that. We get some little leftovers recovery. All right, things are that first turn. Who that U turn was real scary. But I think we're doing all right. Um, we go Kino here. Uh. Bring in the fire type against the steel type. Pretty good strategy, guys. I think this is a good strategy. And intimidate drop. I'm cool with that. Okay, so it looks like Magmortar is what he's want to, what he wants to bring in on um, the Celebi, and honestly, probably the um, well. And showing uh, Earth Power is good for us. That lets us know that um, we're in a pretty good position here to be able to take care of things. What does he switch into here? Maybe the Magmortar. I don't remember if I made uh, this faster than Magmortar. I don't think I did. 
potentially I did, but I don't know. I've been planning so many Pokemon teams. I don't know who's faster than anything. Okay, I definitely did not make this faster. <laughs> definitely did not. Because actually, I'm pretty bulky. Okay. Um, yeah, what did I make? I made this faster than Decidueye. That's right. What's this? Um, I'm kind of okay with this, actually. I'd like to get a, a Will-O-Wisp buff on this. Dredigan, um is fairly scary for us to be able to deal with. Like, we can break it with Terrakion, but it's not its not what we want to use Terrakion for. So if I can Will-O-Wisp, um, and we can get some, some burn chip damage on, off on this, then I'm feeling very good about things. Um, this will also reduce the damage of, like, an Earthquake if you decide to go for that. Totally fine with that play. This thing doesn't have to be fast. Doesn't have to be fast. Um, I think at this point... I kind of want to taunt this, too, actually. Let's go and taunt this. Because I don't want him to get rid of Stealth Rock, um, particularly. Are we still faster? No. Oh, he does get a Stealth Rock. Alright, that's a little unfortunate. I really wanted to stop that from happening. Because I think this means that now Celebi is a sack, which was probably our best answer into this particular Pokemon. I mean, well, actually, we can probably... Oh, and since we're slower... Okay, this means we have a slow parting shot, which I kind of like. I kind of like getting a slow parting shot, on, parting shot off on this. And I think we can go into Tentacruel here, and we can potentially, like, Rapid Spin, and then, like, Scald, maybe? Ice Beam would be pretty solid against this, too. Oh, we're faster now? It must have been a speed tie. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go Mandibuzz. That's a little odd. I would not have expected that to happen that way. Because I, I think an, um, an Earthquake makes a lot of sense. My team is generally weak to ground. And if he's just going to like attack the um, Toracat sitting in front of him, then Earthquake would be the way to go. So we'll see what he has here. Did he go for an Earthquake? He went for a Dragon Tail. Okay. So what what gets brought in? Okay. Well, that's not terrible. <laughs> that's, I'm totally okay with that. I take a little bit of chip damage there, but he's taking some chip damage through burn, so um, I'm okay with this either way. Um, I think at this point, what do you switch in? Because I don't feel like you'd want to leave this in, right? Let's go and rapid spin away the hazards. A Scald makes a lot of sense, because if he brings in... Let's Rapid Spin away the Hazards first. I wonder if he will stay in here. If he stays in, then I'll Ice Beam next turn. Um, okay, he does stay in. So I'm expecting a... Um, this will also let me know if he's Rocky Helmet too. Are you Rocky Helmet? No, you're not. Okay, good to know. Um, he is at minus one, so this shouldn't do too much damage. Yeah, we're looking pretty good here. Um, at this point, I'm going to Ice Beam this. Because this thing is a little hard for our Trachyon to deal with, so I'd like to not have to worry about that. Um, and at this point, yeah, let's go Ice Beam. There aren't too many Pokemon that'll want to come in on this a hit. Maybe the Slowbro would want to. The Magmortar, the Magmortar wouldn't want to come in on this particular Pokemon. I can see the Slowbro or the Scissor potentially switching in right here. Definitely one of those two. Or it stays in. <laughs> that, that works too. Uh, dang, this thing's pretty bulky. There's another Earthquake. I think I'm honestly okay with this for the most part. Like, this taking chip makes it a little harder for us to deal with Coco, but Magnezone is pretty solid against that, and getting this Pokemon out of the way would be very nice to be able to um, to fight up against, uh, to fight with Terrakion. Because I think after that, Terrakion can come in and just uh, kind of click some buttons, which would be pretty solid for us. And we have no hazards up anymore. And if we take out this, actually, if we take this out on this turn, then he has no other hazard setter. And that would be very, very clean for us, because then we wouldn't, we wouldn't have to worry about bringing in Celebi. 
So that's probably actually the best case scenario for us. Like, I hope he stays in now because then we can get rid of his rocks. Like, for sure. So maybe actually taunting with uh, Torque had a couple of turns earlier was the right play um, for that reason. So, okay, does switch here. Looks like he wants to be able to preserve his rocks. Who's Lento? Okay, that makes sense. Kind of who we would expect to come in here. And who do I want to come in to fight you? Probably Magnazone. Yeah, probably Magnazone. And he has no... He did not bring Hop Hippopotas. So, um... Volt Switch looks really good. <laughs> Volt Switch looks really good. Um, I wonder if he doubles. If, if he, like, teleports right here, that would be a really good play. So hopefully he doesn't do that. Oh, that's good. Toxic's nice. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, and now we... Yeah, now we Volt Switch. Let's get some momentum. Because I don't think he stays in. This thing would chunk him too hard. Especially since we're specs. This would deal a lot of damage. I mean, there is a world where he stays in. I just don't... I don't see it happening. Maybe... What would come in here? Probably the Decidueye is my best guess. Yep, there's the swap. Um, if he goes Decidueye... Yep, there's this a dry. What do we want to go into? Do I want to go Torcat? I could see Torcat being a solid option. That does a good chunk of damage. Um, yeah, I think Torcat's probably our best way to go. I could also do this. I kind of like the um, the Manda Buzz. We can just preserve our health on Torcat to deal with the Scissor. I think that's probably the best way to go here. And at this point. A knockoff feels like a very solid play to me. I could also go U-turn potentially. Both of those sound really good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go U-turn. If he like, if he swaps into um, Tapu Koko, I don't particularly want to stay in. Yeah. Yeah. If he swaps Tapu Koko, I don't want to stay in. So I hope he goes Coco here. That's what I would do if I was him. And that would be very good for me. I'd be totally all right with that. We're kind of making up for our our, our first turn shambles. <laughs> first turn did not go very well. Okay, it looks like we're going to take some Rocky Helmet Chip here. And, hmm. Or not Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin. Uh, I think at this point... Huh. At this point, I kind of want to just go into Cyclops and just Volt Switch again. Oh, shoot, I'm slower. Oh, no, this might have been a terrible play. I might be slower. Ooh, this might have been a bad play. I think I have to go for the Volt Switch, though. I just don't know what what speed he is. Because I, I don't think I made sure this was faster. Okay. Whew. All right, crisis averted. We made we made it work, everybody. All right, so what's our best play to go for here? So we do manage to pick up our first KO here. We get the um, Dredigan, which is very nice, very very nice. And I think our best play is probably God. I'm not really a fan of any of these. I feel like any of these are like. Coco comes in and we get really scared. <laughs> so I think we're going to go Buzzy here. I could potentially... Well, I could, I could go Mag... Oh, maybe Magnazone was the right play, but I don't really want to see more Mag Mortar come in. Like, that Pokemon is also really scary, scary for us to deal with. So, yeah. Yeah. Not having to deal with the rocks anymore is very good for us, though. Um, just because of how how much we let Celebi get chipped in, chipped down at the beginning. And by, and by chipped, I mean almost one shot with U-turn. Let's be very clear about that. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> like, I thought it would do damage. I didn't think it would do that much damage. Okay, this is Tapu Koko. Yeah, unfortunate. Did not want to have to deal with this Pokemon. Did not want to deal with this Pokemon at all. Um, but I feel like if we had gone into, um, 
if we'd gone into Magnazone, then that meant that, uh, do I want to bring this in? How crazy would that be? Yeah, let's go, let's go Cyclops. I imagine a U-turn's coming out, like, and I, I don't really want to be put into this, um, this cycle. Wild Charge. Oh, you're physical. No wonder you dealt so much damage to me. Oh my gosh, you're physical? Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> we, can, we can work with that. Um, okay, so Rising Voltage does a massive amount of damage. Volt Switch should also do a lot of damage, too. Um... What do I feel like hitting more? Do I pick up any, like, two-hit KOs on anything that comes in on this? Honestly, I think I do. I'm gonna go Rising Voltage here. Yeah, I'm gonna go Rising Voltage. What do you switch- what do you swap into? Wait, are you... choiced? You might be choiced. The way you swapped out like that? Oh my gosh, freaking Magnazone. That's that's some damage right there, y'all. There is one thing I will say about the speed tour. I have been loving Magna Zone. This Pokemon hits so freaking hard. Loving it. Okay, what do they bring in? Probably Magmortar. That's what I would do. Yeah, that's 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 bad. <laughs> that's did not want to deal with that Pokemon. Um. I think, honestly, this is probably the time where we sack off uh, Kimchi, unfortunately. Sad to see you go, but we need a free swap. We want the swap into uh, Terrakion. That's the plan. Overheat. Yep. Yep. They gone. <laughs> they gone. So Magmore picks up the KO on Celebi. And I think that was, like, we needed to get the free switch into Trachyon here, and I think that was probably our best way of doing that. Oh, what? Okay, I looked away. Where did that Pokemon go? Did they have Eject Pack? Was that an Eject Pack? Alright, I like the tech. I like the tech. You got me. That's, that's pretty sweet. Okay, what do they swap into? If they go Tapu Koko, I go Magnezone. And they, I don't think they want that. If they go... Decidueye. I think I go Toracat. If they go Slowbro, I go Magnezone. Yeah, oh. Ooh. Who's that? Okay, we go Toracat. Or we go Mandibuzz. Toracat, we go Mandibuzz. Let's go Toracat. And I think I'm gonna Parting Shot? Parting Shot feels solid. Because I feel like a U-turn might come out here. And knowing that Tapu Koko is physical is also really nice too. Because that just means that... Um, ooh. Knowing that Koko is physical. Now let's Parting Shot. Yeah, let's Parting Shot. Because I think this brings in the Magmortar and we don't have a way to hit that. So there's the U-turn. Yep, there's the U-turn. And... What do you go into? I assume the Magmortar. I can see Slowbro being the option too. Both those make a lot of sense to me. That, that Magmortar tech was sick. Okay, so there's a Slowbro. Totally fine. We'll parting shot out. Um, and this gets us in Magnezone. And Magnezone clicks Volt Switch and probably does a lot of damage. <laughs> probably does a lot of damage. Uh, actually, maybe I just got Rising Voltage again. That would be so sweet. I think I pick up a kill on anything if, if uh, this train is still here. Is Electric Train still here? It might be gone. Nope, it's still there. Okay, so we Rising Voltage. Something gets chunked or dies. How much damage do you take? You take 100% damage. Okay. So, I feel like we've learned something today. I 
feel like we've learned that Magna Zone hits really hard. Is this the Magma Mortar? Yeah, okay, let's swap out again. And I think I will go, I kinda actually like going into Kino here. Let's go, let's go Buzzy. Let's go Buzzy. And then I'm probably um, uh, U-turning into, uh, probably U-turning into um, Terrakion. It's probably the, the, the main, main plan. That looks like it honestly could be a two-hit KO, which is a little sad. I would have thought that I'd be okay here. And that's okay. Okay, so this looks like a pick -o. Okay, that's all right. Uh, Mandibuzz wasn't serving too much of a purpose there. But I think we do have the opportunity to come in here and we can click... Earthquake, 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 and um, and and things die. Oh, let's take a uh, buzz off. Dang, this has been a game of of breakers coming in and breaking things. <laughs> Magnetism coming in, and um, who's that buho? Okay. I'm pretty sure this is a two-hit KO. And unless your scarf, I am faster. Oh, that is not a two-hit KO. That is not actually very much damage at all. Okay, so we go into Kino now. And I think we look to swap again. But we're getting some more chip damage off. This is all good. All of this is important. <clears throat> Not having to worry about rocks is so nice, too. Okay, you're special. Okay, that does not do very much damage at all. It's really nice. And... Uh, do I just flamethrower? I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense. Honestly, I think a parting, parting shot makes way more sense. Because I don't see them staying in. Like, they might U-turn out. But I don't think them s they do stay in. Um, okay. In that case... In that case, how fast did I make... How fast did I make Tentacruel? I think I made Tentacruel where I could deal with this. Um, and no scissor means that sludge wave uh, should be good here. Or do I want to go ice beam? Hmm. Also, I think sludge wave is probably better. I don't see this doing very much damage to me. And if, uh, like, Coco switches in, then I want to be able to hit that. And I should be able to two-hit KO the Magma Mortar, I believe, with how much HP um, it's sitting at. That thing's pretty tanky, actually. Ooh, I wonder... If I had gone Rapid Spin, if I had gone Rapid Spin, that would have been the play. How much HP is our Magna Zone at? That's kind of what I'm thinking I'm switching in here. Because this is 100% Coco. There's no way it's a Magmortar. Yeah. How much HP is Magnazone at? Can I take a hit from something? I, th I assume I can. Oh, you're, lo you're looking real nice. Yep, we're going to Magnazone. And then I think... If they could U-turn here, that would be a pretty good play. Toracat would have been a safer, like, middle ground play if I was thinking about the U-turn, which I definitely was not. I just really wanted to put Magnazone on the battlefield. I'm be real with y'all. <laughs> that was that was the plan. Wait a second. I don't think Tapu Koko gets a physical fairy move. So maybe Terrakion's supposed to be my switch into this. 
There's the wild charge. That's not a two hit KO, so we're good. And at this point, we're definitely um, we're definitely hitting rising voltage. Should do massive amounts of damage. Especially as analytic. Analytic specs is so much damage output. Goes for a wall charge again. Okay. That's okay. We live the hit. And um, I believe this is a KO for us. This deals a lot of damage. Yep. Okay, so there goes Coco. Um, and now we just have Decidueye and Magmortar left. How do we want to deal with those two? Is it time to sack Magnazone? Might be time to sack Magnazone. This thing hits really hard. We've seen Overheat, Lava Plume, Thunderbolt. None of those moves hit Terrakion very hard. If he goes for a ground move here, though, which everything on my team is weak to, um, then, like, that's what I would do. I would go Scorching Sands. If he if he has it, that's what I'd do. And I don't think I want to, like, let anything switch in to take that hit. Um, Tentacruel could have been the best option to try to do that. It's probably got a solid amount of HP, but I think a free switch here for us is probably fine, and I, we should be able to kill this with, um, like, a free switch in on Tentacruel, for example. So I'm okay with that, too. He goes for Thunderbolt. Okay. Maybe he doesn't have the Scorching Sands. Maybe he doesn't have that. Okay, so Magmortar... Okay, so it's actually a good thing that we didn't go into um, Deville here either. We are going to swap this in now, though. And uh, we're looking to be in a pretty good position, I think. We'll go Scald here, because even a burn on... Um, a burn on Decidueye would still be solid. It looks like it's special though, right? Because we saw the Leaf Storm. But either one of those is okay. Either way. And we all, and we want this Pokemon gone, right? But at this point, we're picking up KOs, KOs. So we'll go like probably Scald, then Ice Beam is is my thinking. We'll be faster than um, either Pokemon. So this should be a KO here. And I think at this point, we're just cleaning things up. Uh, I think Toracat would probably be solid to be able to pick up this kill. I'm, I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. I don't think there's any reason for me to play around with like losing this match potentially <laughs> with like random switches, so. Um, We'll just Ice Beam and uh, either pick up a KO or not. <laughs> either one's totally fine. And then um, we'll come into the Tora Cat. I'm probably go for like a Flamethrower would be solid. Will of this might be nice too, actually. So the Ice Beam, how much damage does this deal? If he roosts, he does roost, okay. Um, in that case, do I want to, like, fish for burns instead? I mean, I'm okay, I'm okay with just putting pressure on this. Yeah, I think I'd rather just, like, continue putting pressure on this so that it can't just, like, continuously roost. There's also the possibility that I go into, like, Kino. But we are fairly spit F, too. So if this is, um, yeah, this is looking pretty solid. Like, we should be able to take this Leaf Storm just fine, I think. Yeah. And now that he's at, at, he's at minus two, then, um, like, we live another one, 100%. So we'll just put the pressure on.
we're looking to be in a pretty good spot here. At this point, we're just clicking buttons. <laughs> Dang, that Magnezone was super scary. Gosh, I really want to draft that Pokemon again. Looks very strong. Okay, and then we pick up the other uh, kill here with Tentacruel. Looking very solid. Um, a great game. Good game to uh, send. I think the... Um, the the Tapu Koko um, <laughs> chunking our Celebi at the beginning. Oh my god. I did not expect to do that much damage. That was nuts. I felt on the back foot right away. Um, but fantastic. Well, get, well played game from him. Uh, he is uploading these videos just like I am. And um, he is ahead of me on uploading um, and getting, uh, getting these out. So if you haven't already, definitely go check out uh, his channel. Um, he's going to have a lot of, he's got a lot of content on there. Fantastic battler, great content creator, um, and definitely check him out. Um, also definitely want to check out, uh, the YCL, right? This is the, um, the server that we've been playing and the discord that we've been playing this, uh, speed tour through. Um, it has been a, um, it, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've actually been commissioning it, uh, along with, um, with squid to feed. And that has been such a blast. It's been such a good time. So if you're looking for more singles content, speed tours or uh, singles or VGC, whatever it is, whatever it is, um, this is the place to be. Like, subscribe, stick around for some more content, and we will catch you on the next one.